welcome back to my kitchen today I'm going to make you up some Jamaican saltfish fritters so come on guys and let me show you what you will need to make up this meal the season is very fritters. important right you're gonna need the tomatoes you're gonna need scallion chopped scallion a pinch of fresh hot Jamaican pepper this is about a half a medium chopped onion and of course I'm going to put some sweet pepper in it I use the green one and the green one is not just going to give it color but it's going to give it flavor now it's optional if you want to put it in there you can put it in there if you don't want to put it in there you can you don't have to put it you can put red one orange one purple one green one your choice all right also you're going to need a Two cups of all-purpose flour, all right? Do not use self-rising flour because your, your sitters are going to rise up like pancake. Don't use that. All-purpose flour. Then you're going to need some black pepper, some cooking oil, any one of your choices is fine. Now, you can't use any salt fish where you see in the store. The one we're going to use today is a tropical island salt fish. It's a boneless salt fish. It's pretty good. The price is good and I never use. So come on, let me show you how to do this thing. Now, the first thing you have to do to get this saltfish fritters going is boiling this saltfish. This saltfish is very salt, that's why right. it's a hot right? here with boiling water. You put the saltfish in it and you're going to let that saltfish boil all uh, two times, at least two times. I'm not going to boil out all the salt out of it because it's going to kill my saltfish fritters flavor. So, boil this two times. You boil it the first time, you chew it out. You put back fresh water, you boil it again. And then the saltfish are ready, alright? Okay, so now that your saltfish is finished boiling, you rinse it, you chew off the salt water. This is what it's going to look like when you finish. You want to just pinch it up in bite sizes, alright? When you get done with that, you go ahead and you just go ahead and add all your seasoning in your onion, your sweet, your sweet pepper, everything. Just put it all in there and then you go ahead and you add your water. This is two cups of water. You go ahead and you add your water in. You might need some more water, okay? You mix it all in and then you add your flour. So remember, I started with two cups of water. You might need some more, so just make sure you have just to back up. You mix that flour in. Alright, so that's two cups of all purpose flour. No, not self rising flour enough. All purpose flour only. Just give that a good mix. So now that I put the two cups of flour and the two cups of water, it still kind of looks too thick, right? I don't want it thick like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about another half a cup of water in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add another half a cup of water in there and just give it a good stir. I didn't stir. put no salt in it because the salt fish already is already salty. So what I'm going to do now is just add some black pepper to this. I'm going to put about maybe about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Alright. Just sprinkle that in there and just give it a nice stir. Some people use egg into them fritters. I didn't put any egg in there. Now, if you want to put egg in yours, you can put egg in it. I don't want to put egg in mine because it's going to taste too eggy. But now I make egg custard. Me I make fritters, salt fish fritters, all right? So now, when you get done, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. The consistency. It's supposed to look like this when you get done mixing everything. If you want to put more black pepper in it, you can put black pepper in it. But remember, you already have the scotch bonnet pepper. Depending on how hot you want it, then you can go ahead and add more pepper. You know me, friend of pepper, so a minimal amount of pepper in my own. Alright? Okay, so now we're going to put the oil in the pot. Alright? Make sure you put enough oil because you want when you put the fritters in, it's covered. So put at least four ounces of oil in there now as usual anytime you frying fritters you're going to make sure that your oil is hot if your oil is not hot and you're going to put your fritters in the pot it's going to stick and if it stick don't blame me if the fritters come out flour flour right so make okay, sure so here we go hot. i'm going to put these fritters in 
and it's going to start frying immediately all right that's what happened when you put it into the oil when the oil ready it starts to fry immediately that way it won't stick now this pot can probably go like six or seven so let's get about let's try to get seven in there all right depending on the size where you want you want it bigger your choice all right but we're gonna try to get seven of them in there Right. One more. It's Seven. frying. It's gonna be frying about three to four minutes on this side. Then I'm gonna flip it over on the next side and give it another three to four minutes. My fire is on medium high. Don't put it on high high because you have sitting like a bun up. So keep it on medium high. All right. So I'll come back and show you when I flip it over on the next side see, what it looks like. What happens when you put your, your, your flippers in a hot iron, it's not going to stick. You see that? It's moving. That's because the oil was perfect feed. Alright? Give it a little shake so it gets a nice golden brown. Alright, now it's been cooking for 3 to 4 minutes. I'll say about 4 minutes. So it's time for me to turn it. You see how that looks? A beautiful golden brown. Nice and pretty. I see it turn over so nice because once again the aisle is nice and hot. Alright, so just go ahead and turn them over. Alright, I'm gonna let this fry on this side for three to four minutes. I'll say four minutes. And when I get done with the whole batch, I'm gonna put it on a plate and I'm gonna make this way it look like. Alright? So soda box, when we get it, you have it, it's all done. Selfish bitters in my kitchen. Give it a try, let me know how you like it, and once again, from my kitchen to yours, enjoy!